Hello and welcome back to the ADHD Academic. Today I'm going to talk with you about how to automate your Blackboard course as a way to help prevent some of our ADHD symptoms from getting in the way of our teaching. By the end of this video, you will be able to schedule Blackboard announcements, color code your gradebook, and enable adaptive release. So let's start with Blackboard announcements. These are really important because they communicate information to your students and by scheduling them, you're not going to forget important dates and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how we can show some respect for other cultures at the same time. I'm going to use a course site from last semester to show you how to use the announcements to pre-schedule information for your students throughout the semester. So when you are in Blackboard, you're going to navigate to your announcements page. For me, my students enter the course at the announcements page so that they see them first thing. Click here on create announcement, give it a subject. So for this one, I don't wanna to forget to tell them that midterms are coming up. So I'm going to say midterm updates. Right? And you can see I'm using my iPad on this. Then I'm going to click into the text editor and I'm going to put in whatever information I want them to know. Please note that the week of October 12th is our midterm. You will have the entire week to complete it. And actually, because this is going to be an announcement for them like closer to October 12th, so I'm going to say that next week, comma, the week of, you'll have the entire week to it. Please plan your schedule accordingly. You can put whatever you want in here. Sometimes I like to add a bit moji for a little pizzazz, but you don't have to. And then I'm going to say that it is date restricted. And I'm going to say when I want it to display. So I want it to display after um, October 4th. And then I can say that I want it to stop displaying at some point. I tend to leave these up, but if it's something super temporary, sometimes that can be nice to keep it from getting cluttered. I don't want to send a copy of this announcement immediately because I don't want it to come out until October. I can link something if I want to, but I don't want to at the moment. I can always update this once it posts. I could like link it to the midterm if I wanted to. And then I'm going to hit submit. And you'll see that here it says the item is not available because it will not be available until Monday, October 4th at 11.49 a.m. And you can change those times and everything. Um, and you'll keep adding those as you go. So add as many as you want. You can see like my little bitmojis here. This introduction is one that I had pre-posted and you can see that I do have a course link here where it took them directly to where they should start the course. Hopefully that quick rundown gave you some good ideas about how to schedule announcements. So true or false, scheduled announcements will be emailed to your students directly. If you said false, you are correct. Unfortunately, scheduled announcements are not emailed to students. I wish that was something that we could change with Blackboard, but for right now, we can't. Next is the grade book. Now, color coding the grade book is a new trick that I learned in the past year. And by doing so, we can quickly identify how individual students are doing. And we can notice the assignments that students struggle with at a quick glance. All right, so color coding your grade center. For your grade center, um, you wanna go to grade center, full grade center, and then you want to manage and click grading color codes. So I'm gonna enable grading color codes. And there are two different options here. So with grading status is if something's in progress where like a student has started an assignment, this is usually where you see the blue circle. You can have it be a certain color. If it's something that needs grading, which usually has the yellow circle, you can have it be a color. And if they're exempt, you can have it be a color. I don't mess with these because they already do have those icons so I can visually see it. But we can add grade ranges. So I'm going to add 
a grade range and I can choose more than or equal to, less than or between. I'm gonna stay with between if their grade is between a 90% and I'm gonna put 150% just in case I ever have any extra credit in there. Then I want the background color to be bright green. Then I can add another criteria and you can change the text color if you need to is between and I'm gonna say if actually you know what, I'm gonna change that 90 because I don't really care if it's an A. I'm gonna say if it is 75% and up then they're like in really good standing. If they are between 65 and 75 I'm going to have them be orange. If they are between 50 and 65 then I want them to be Actually, this one I'm going to put as orange, and then I'm going to change this orange to yellow. And then if they are less than 50%, I want it to be red. All right, and then I'm going to submit. And what I'm going to see here is a color coding of their scores. And for whatever reason, my iPad does not like me to scroll, but I would be able to scroll but I can have it in the total range, which is probably gonna be the most important where I wanna be able to just look and see all of my students and determine how well they're doing. And then where they are missing assignments will be white, but you can see that this will give you a very quick visual as to how your whole class um, is doing and to identify any students who are struggling uh, quickly. Please play with that some more. There's a lot of different ways you could use it, but I hope that the way I just described is helpful to you. So, quick quiz. Color coding your gradebook will A, show whether students are passing assignments or not, B, allow you to quickly identify struggling students, C, save you time, or D, all of the above. Did you say D? Because it is absolutely all of the above. This is one of my favorite Blackboard tips and tricks. And lastly, we have adaptive release. So by setting up adaptive release, you can release materials at specific times and you can require students to complete one assignment before starting the next. This is another one where there's a lot of different ways that you can use it, but I'm gonna show you just the basics. So it's, this is especially helpful if you have your whole class built or if you, you know, have units built ahead of time, but you don't want um, students to see all of them at once, which I highly recommend as a best practice, you can say when they are going to release. So in this class, module one was the course orientation. So when they signed in, I want them all to do the course orientation, but I'm actually fine with them getting started on module two as soon as they have completed the course orientation. So on module two, I can set up adaptive release. I'm going to click the down arrow and I'm going to click adaptive release. And here I can either choose a date for display, just like we did with the announcements. I can choose which students can see it and I could actually type in certain students' names. That's not something I've really used much. Or I can use a condition. So I can select a grade center column and decide that after they have completed that assignment, they can move on. So the course orientation video is what I'm really concerned about here. That's where I walk through the syllabus and the course site. And so I wanna make sure they do that before they start the course. So I'm gonna say course orientation video and I can either choose that they have at least one attempt for the item, that they have a score that is less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, or equal to something, or that they have a percent between. For this one, I am going to say a percent that is between 80 and 100, okay? I want them to, they can redo it, but I want them to get at least 80% uh, before they can move on. Review status is if you set review status, that means they have to like kind of click on it and say, acknowledge that they've reviewed that item before something else appears. So then I'm going to hit submit. And now this will only show up once they have completed module one. Let me see if it will show us in student view. You'll notice now that announcement that I created earlier is not showing up 
because it's not October yet. So students can't see it even though you can. I'm gonna go to modules and lessons. Module one is showing up, but module two, which I set the adaptive release for is not. Now I don't have adaptive release set for the others so they are showing up, but this one, because I have not watched that video and completed that assignment, is not showing up. Time to fill in the blanks. Adaptive release allows you to blank when blank is delivered to students. Adaptive release allows you to control when content is delivered to students. I think I spoiled that in the last slide. My bad. I hope that this was helpful for you. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments or reach out to me on Instagram and I promise to respond and answer them to the best of my abilities. As I always say, having ADHD has its challenges, but we can work with our ADHD and work smart so that it doesn't derail us throughout the semester. I hope that you have a wonderful week. You give yourself grace and treat yourself with kindness. And I'll see you next time for another tech tutorial or for the next episode of my podcast. See you later.